You're bare knuckles. <laughs> but you cannot fool me. <laughs> like you really played him well. Right, I, I think I should start playing. Yeah. Yes, hello, am I speaking with Mr. Walker? Yeah, you are. Yes, okay. My name is Mr. Robert Kelly, senior manager here with the Publishers Clearing House Claims Department. Also, um, I am calling you in regards to my representative who contacted you today, Mr. Peterson. Are you familiar with what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I know who you're talking about. James Peterson? Right. So, he, he report on the system that you were contacted, but, you know, I guess you were busy dealing with um, what you have to deal with now. It's very important that you and I have a good talk. I think the time is now. If you're busy or what so I've got a little bit of time before I have to leave. What do you need to talk about? Well, it's in regard to your delivery, which we have to carry it out because um, these documents and your delivery have been here for quite some time. Um, the IRS, along with the U.S. Treasury Department, they are wanting you to have this um, have this prize completed as soon as possible before into cancellation. We have a bonus prize here with $55 million in a certified cashier's check, along with your Mercedes, which you're supposed to receive, and your other first place winnings that you have won. But from our understanding is that you have some other representative which you are working with. So well, not I don't anymore. understand what. So you're you're not talking with anyone else as of no, this moment. You don't no, have any. No, that guy it's turned out to be a scammer. He he was trying to steal money from me. I found out just a while ago. Okay, and what is the name of that guy? Because I want to document everything here on the system so that I can have uh, the reimbursement done for you. I want to get you enrolled for the reimbursement as well because all those money know, which you put up front. It's a long story. I mean, he, I think he uh, talked to my wife first. I don't, I don't even know what his real name was. He kept changing okay. his, kept changing so his name. You, when was the last, okay, when was the last time you made any payment? Because Mr. Walker, I want you to be mindful of what you're doing. I don't. From the IRS or the Treasury Department to end in a place in a lien on well, you. Well, I tried to and make a payment for... today, but I, I tried to. I asked him who the money was going to, and he couldn't tell me. He couldn't tell me the people that exactly. were money was going exactly. to or the phone number or nothing. That's why I I told him. He said, "Just take that hundred thousand dollar check and just tear it up. We don't want it." So where is the, 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 the check right now? Well, the check's right here, but I, I couldn't verify any of the information, so... so um, is it a cashier's check? Yeah, it's a cashier's check, and it's, but it's made out to... It's made out to the woman that he said he needed it made out to, and the, the bank called me and said, hey, don't... Uh, we can't send that. That check's not any good because... That, we we tried to verify that person and that person uh, wasn't real. So you have a cashier's check there right now for a hundred thousand. Right, but and it's it's made out to somebody. It's not well, it's useless. Don't worry about that. You're, it's not useless because don't no, destroy it. No, it, it, it is. is. The I'm bank right. told me. The bank told me that it wasn't good for anything because the lady. Uh, it's not to a real person, so I don't know. I I gotta talk to my wife about it and see what she wants to do. Okay, sir. Right now, I am the last person, along with Mr. Peterson, who can have this done for you. And I can hear in your voice that you're frustrated, you're confused, you want to yeah, get this I done, am. and that's what. We want. So, um. Where are you right now? Is it possible I could talk to you in a short while because I want to wrap up what we have here in the office? I need to get back in touch with Mr. Peter. Well, I'm at home, in, but I, I have to leave in a little while to go. I got to take, I got to run into town and take care of some stuff a little bit. Oh, you're going in town in a little bit. So is this yeah. your cell phone or is it a landline? 
No, this is my right, cell, get, get cell paper, phone. Get a paper and a pen. And I, I said, I don't want you to destroy that check. I'm going to have you take back that check to your bank tomorrow, and you can um, put back that money in your account. Or if we got everything finalized, maybe you can change the name on the check, and we get everything done. So what I want you to do, get something to write on so I can give you my number, give you my name, and give you your claims number. All right, and I'm gonna have to get in touch back with the IRS personnel and let them know that you are, you know, I get in touch with you, same as Mr. Peterson. Oh, you're not. I am you're not to... working with this other guy, are you? This Todd Sloan? No, definitely not. Like I said, I am the manager for Mr. Peterson, and I tried, tried calling to, you this evening. He tried to seduce my wife and get her to send him some money. That's why. I'm, that's why yeah. I'm upset right now. Anybody? Anybody? Anybody that is taking the company into disrepute, I want to have them sanctioned, and I need you to let me get all the information as much as you can give oh, me. So Mr. I can Peterson also... is calling me right now. So I the phone, right? All right to talk to Mr. Peterson, right? Yes. yes. Okay, hold on then. Yes. Hello. Yes, hello, sir. How are you doing? Well, I'm doing All fine. Right, I was just talking to your your coworker or your boss or whatever. Okay, my boss called you. Yeah, he's on the other line right now. Um, okay, okay, okay. Do okay. I hang up All on right, him so... or? No, 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 no. You can finish. You can finish. Talk. Which who 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 you said you're on the line with? Could you could you verify the name to me? I was just taking this information right when you called. Uh, okay, he knows, right. he knows your name. Yes, 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 yes. Because he, okay. was, he, were what's going, he was wondering what's going. He was wondering what's going on. I'm going to hang up and you finish talk with him. All, all right. right, all right. Yeah, you there? Hello. Yes. Did you talk? Yeah, he wanted to know what your name was. I told him we hadn't got that far yet. We. You get me right down not, right now, that's right? Not, that's, that's not Mr. Peterson then. Maybe that's those same unscrupulous guys. No, it was Mr. Peterson. I recognize his number. I added him to the contact. Oh. He said to talk oh, to you. Okay. Okay, you sh okay, because it's Mr. Kelly. So I need you to write down my number. It's five one Kelly. Yes, Robert Kelly. Robert Smelly, I got you. Kelly, Kelly, it's oh, Kelly. Kelly. Because I'm, I'm getting the other person to fear who needs to be flown to Texas on the charter jet. Mr. Peterson oh. is already down there. They tried acquiring the car today. But like I said, we need to get the documents put together and get the percentage of taxes taken care of and for the stamps to be placed on the check and everything. So you're saying you're going in town. Get something to write on so you have my number. I need you to have my number. I am. I'm writing so down right now. Out. You talk too fast. I can't okay. understand half of what you're saying. Slow down, man. Okay. okay sorry. All right. So my Robert number is Kelly. 516. 516. Right. 266. Right. Yeah. And your claim, your claim number is seven seven five US. Seven seven five US. Got you. US, US, as in United States. What seven seven five US. Yes. Okay, I didn't hear you. All right. So, like I'm saying, um, we're just wrapping up right now to get the other um personnel over in Texas. They're coming on the charter jet. Uh, Mr. Peterson well, is already down here. My wife. He was... I gotta tell my wife and get let her know what's going on. Are y'all coming over here tomorrow? Tomorrow, tomorrow for tomorrow. Yes, it's a big day. All so, right, y'all are coming in get... on a. You said y'all are coming in on a on a jet. And are y'all gonna land here? At, right. Out on my field, or you got me at the airport, or what's going on? Use a jet center and then drive to your your oh, residence. We we not we okay. you know put here. I your, mean I got a I got know. a little airstrip out of here. I figured y'all could just land out here if you wanted to. <laughs> well, we would have to discuss that some more. So okay, I have to I'll talk give with you, you the some address more. later. Right. 
So okay. you're saying that you're going to get some things done now. I need you to call me as soon as you're available to talk so we can finalize this. Like I'm saying also, keep the check safe because I'm going to have you take that bank to, back to the bank tomorrow and we change things and get everything settled, all right? So let me just and get to the IRS personnel. Okay. Just... Well, you sound like that. You sound exactly like that guy that... That other guy, that's what yep. worried it. What, what's worrying me. You sound like you, uh, Mr. Anderson I talked to that tried to rip me off. No, no, I'm not, I'm not affiliated with them, and you have nothing to worry about, all right? We are all uh, brothers and sisters in the large site. I'm not here to take food. No, nah, that guy's not my right? brother. I'm not brothers with him. He's an asshole. Okay. All right. So just you heard, you said that you're his call. brother? No, I said we. You and I. You and I are brothers in the large side. Oh, I, mean, right? I ain't related. I'm not related to that son of a bitch. He tried to steal my wife from No, me. you and I. Okay. No, I said you and I. That's very disrespectful of them. And those guys are perpetrators. I don't need you to talk with them. All yeah, right? You are, are elderly. You are vulnerable. I need you to protect yourself. I need you. I perpetrators need you to stay and safe. perverts okay. is what they are. Stuff he was asking my wife to do was doing. perverted. He'll go to hell for that if he if he ain't careful. Uh, all right. All so right. Just well, I'm a man. I'm a man of the Lord, man. I don't I don't like sinners coming exactly. around trying to fornicate around on that's, my wife. That's that's. That's who I am. That's who I am. I believe in the Lord and I acknowledge him in all his glory. Seek ye the kingdom of God first and all things will come after. All oh, right. I can it's a tell, pleasure yeah, speaking I can with tell you. you've been raised up in the word of the Lord. Definitely, definitely. All righty then. Definitely. So all like, right, we'll call you so when like I I'm get back you, home. Yes, because you're going on the road, right? Yeah, I'll be back in a couple of hours. Okay. Um, do you have a landline, Mr. Walker? No, no landline. Um, do you have any other phone numbers secondary? Um, do you have a number? Does your wife have a phone just in case I can't reach to you because it seems as if you're getting a lot of calls, and I want to yeah, be I able do. to get in touch with you. I, I want so us to have a devotion. Ridiculous. I have to hang Jesus. up on half so, of these so people. You know, okay, so do you know how to recognize my number? So if I call you, I will get you, right? Yeah, I wrote it down. Okay, all right. So I want to talk to you later and so we can have a little devotion because I have evening devotions every time with my families, even though I'm, I'm, I'm a little away from them, but I have to keep my devotions and my connections with the right, Lord. So that's I'm gonna very important. You in it. I'm going to involve you in it, and we're going to do a little devotion. Do you mind? No, I don't mind. I'm devoted to my wife, though, so I don't... I can't really devote myself to too many other people. You understand? I know, I know, but I'm saying that, you know, it's just a way to praise devotion. You know, oh. it's good when we keep the Lord in our presence. Oh, that's, what, that's what you're talking about. I thought you meant something right. different. Um, my bad. <laughs> I was like, no. I could. I only no, have room no. for one relationship. I don't. I like the ladies, though. No, no, definitely not, my brother. Definitely. Okay, no, I'm saying well, devotion, evening. Oh, evening okay. Devotion. Well, be, I was just being clear yes. on that. that um, I don't know how you might be no. a handsome man, but I just don't really attract it to you. No, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not of that sort either. I okay, because these kids you know, nowadays, man, man y'all kids nowadays are into some weird shit. Kind of yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're saying you're going out to town? How far away is town? Well, it's thirty minutes, but I've got a lot to do while I'm there, so. Um. Are you gonna be around the office for a couple more hours, or are you I'm you leaving? I'm direct number. So once so once you call me, I can pick up, or you just leave a message, and I will this call you right back. This is your direct. We're on right now. Well, the other number. Let me give you the other number. 
So either one you call, I will get the call. The oh, other Mr. number is um, 516. 916. Huh? Mr. Oh, Mr. Five. Peterson's number? No, I'm giving you my other number. I'm oh, okay. You both my phone number. So I, okay, I got you. I have another 516 number to give you. It's 516 216 260 6334. Damn, you're, you speak so fast, Sean. I. <laughs> I'm sorry. So five one six. Yeah. Two six zero. Two six zero. Six three three four. Six three three four. Yes. Okay. All right. And and you and you said your name is uh, Robert Kelly. Robert, Mr. King. Right. Right, oh, Mr. Okay. Walker. All right. You can call me Johnny. I don't. So, uh, no one calls me Mr. Walker around here. All right, Johnny. All right. Okay, all right. no problem. You I, promised me I, you're I not like working. Be... You're not working with that fellow that tried to steal my wife from me. I'm swearing. I'm swearing with the Lord. I'm swearing right. with the Lord, and I want us to just work together. We are steward for the Lord, and I know you're frustrated, but. Have a little faith in me. All right. Well, you promise me. Can you promise me something? Can I, you promise me something? Pro yes, sir. If if that guy does work there, I want his ass fired immediately. Okay. There, I'm gonna explain everything to you. Like I'm saying, I want every information as best as you can give me, so I can have them sanctioned. Okay. Right? It's that Bobby Miller. I tell you, it's that damn Bobby Miller that was trying to seduce. Lucille, I'm not gonna shut. I'm not gonna take. You know, I don't stand for that. I don't cotton nobody trying to talk, take my wife away from me. Exactly. That's that's All that's right. very much disrespectful. And and just to show you, let me say this to you. That goes to show you that there is no form of professionalism in that. No, not at all. No form of prof professionalism. No, he was not very professional at all. When, when I saw what he was telling her on the text messages, it made me so mad I wanted to punch him in the face. Don't worry yourself. God, God have a God have God have something in store for them. All right, and uh, like I said, that's why we want to pray this evening. So okay. Make sure you call me when you get. I am a man we'll, of God. We'll I pray together, God. and we'll enjoy. pray together and do our devotions. Yes, we're putting the oh, Lord at the forefront. Well, I look it. forward to that right. because I I look forward to that. So before we start you can the day, to the Lord we start, a good day. Okay, so before we start business tomorrow morning and to finalize everything, the Lord is going to be in the midst, and I'm going to explain to you how everything is going to go tomorrow. So like I okay. said, just put up that check until tomorrow. I tell you exactly what you're to take care of, and we get everything out of the way. All right. All right. Thank I'll you. put the check away, and uh, I don't really think I have to take the check back down there to cancel it. I can just tear it up, and make it out a new one. No, don't tear it up. To cancel it, remember that's a cashier check, and that's with your money from your account. All right. I no, so I know, but there's only one. Up? There's only one copy of it. If I tear it up, then uh, and then it's void. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the other copy is void. Is it void? Did they void the check? Well, no. The, the lady at the bank said it was void because they, the person that the, I tried, I put on oh. it was, okay. was so not. Your a, money is still in your account, right? Your money right. is still in your account, right? Right. Oh, so the, the, so the cashier's check you have is no good, right? No, it's no good. The guy gave me a fake name okay. and, and then the bank tried to verify it and he couldn't uh he couldn't okay. give me any all information right. all right so once your money okay all right we'll talk later later we finish up everything all right okay well we better quit talking because i'm right. getting mad just thinking about that guy I'm gonna, i gotta Don't calm down i'm gonna go into breathe town and breathe in. breathe in you breathe said a word of prayer oh, okay prayer breathe a word of prayer and put it to the lord all right 
Well, we'll talk You're about gonna, that later when we do the devotions, okay? Just like Job with the leprosy, we're not giving up. We're working together. And I put, I, I'm putting this in the Lord's hand. All right? Okay. This is a blessing yeah. in your life. This is a blessing in your life. This is not about luck. This is a blessing You're from God. Run in the town. All right? Yeah. All right. Well, me and the old lady got to run into town. All right. Just make sure you call can, me when you Can get I back. include her in on this prayer session when we do the devotions? Definitely. You're doing okay. it as a well, team. Okay. Well, I will. You're I'll doing tell, it I'll as a team. Too. All right. I appreciate All right. you, sir. Tell you what. Turn Mr. off your Kelly. phone when you're going on the road. Don't let no one else call you and disturb your peace. Turn off your phone. Oh, ain't nobody calling me. I'm so mad right now I can punch them in the nose. I'm just going to a... Uh, I'm. Uh, I gotta stress out. You know, I gotta go get rid of some of this stress. So, I'll call you when I get back. Okay. Uh, all right. All right, buddy. All uh, right. Thank you, you Mr. Kelly. I hope you guys call you. Can I call you, Bob? I'll take you safe. Robert. All right. Can I call you, Robert? Yeah. Well. Yes, you can call me okay. Rob or Robert. Okay, Rob. All right, I, Johnny. It's just weird having two first names. Um, I was, I was calling you Kelly, but I meant, I forgot that was your last name. I'll just call you Robert, okay? Anyone, anything you feel comfortable with, you can call me. Oh, I'm fine with Rob or Robert, okay? All right, then. Just All right, right. Say, you, have, you have a blessed, back. you have Bye -bye. a blessed day. I'll talk to you after a while. All right, we'll finish everything later, okay? Bye. All right, thank you. All right. Bye. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. So are you back? It's Mr. Kelly, Robert Kelly. Yeah, I tried to call you earlier when I had my wife here, but. Okay. So are you ready for us to have a talk now, or? Yeah. Well, give me a second. Let me call her. Let me get her back in here. See if she'll. She wanted to hear what you had to say. Well. All right, no problem. All right. Okay. Yeah. Hello, Johnny. It's Mr. Kelly. Hey, Mr. Kelly. Yeah, sorry I missed your call. How are you now? Is it connection much better? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Maybe it's because um you know I'm here we're waiting to go and board the, the 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 private aircraft the charter jet by the company the company's jet because yeah. like I was telling you we have to come over so you know sometimes yeah. you know cell phones don't work too well around these kind of um yeah I understand you know, power stuff. yeah right. that's pretty awesome yeah. what's it what's it like getting a ride on a private jet all the time is that pretty nice. It's nice, it's nice, especially when, you know, everything is already set in place and, you know, you know that you're just going to, you know, get land and get devoted to the work and, yeah. you know, just bring joy and blessings to families because yeah. I've been doing this for over 27 years and it's very oh heartwarming. Gosh. It's always a fabulous feeling, you yeah. know, to transition person's life and right. to see the joy that it brings. No, I don't know for how long you and your wife has been married, but let me say this to you. This is going to be just like the first day you guys joined in holy matrimony. It's going to be joyful because yeah. this is not just about you. This is for her as well, and I'm glad that she is alive and is going to be a part of this special moment because, listen, Johnny, there are a lot of persons here in America who are widowed, whether it's the husband or the wife. Right. And when they win these kinds of stuff and, you know, the blessing comes, they they, they, they mourn. And I have to just try to cheer them up. Oh because, gosh. you know, Of course, everyone, everyone would want their loved one to be a part of this. So right. tomorrow is a blessing, is a joyful day you're, for you. You're bringing a tear to my eye right now. Why are you trying to make me sad about all this? 
No, it's not to be sad. It's tears of joy, my brother. It's going to uh, be okay. a joyful day. Well, I mean, All Lou right? Shield's still alive, so we don't. You know, Lucille's still here, so she'll get to enjoy all this. <laughs> right, right. And you right. know what I want you to do? Tomorrow I need you to tell me, or even now, I need you to tell me if there is any special flower, any special color balloons that you would like. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. I want to take some roses, courtesy of you, especially, so you can, you know, present this to her. Because, oh listen, the delivery yeah. will be done delivery will be done in a private manner you're not going to be published on the local networks or anything we're not going to do that because this is private which you had requested right. so it's going to be done in a private manner now i want you to understand that your safety is our main priority and it is yours as well i want you to remain very safe and i want you to be confidential about your business right. now just with you recent occurrences i don't even love to talk about it but there was a lady over in illinois in chicago where you know uh -huh. she, she her name was carol she won a prize it wasn't so hefty as you and johnny i told her carol keep your business private she lived alone and uh -huh. yes yeah, she was widowed she was too excited she wanted all the extravagant and that's 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 chicago and yeah. she wanted everything up front and I want to say to you that maybe she told the wrong person about this because right. she wanted it public. And just to make it short, I don't even like to talk about it because it's very heart wrenching. I met her sister on the delivery and we did the delivery. So, you know, I met her sister. There were humble souls. And just about three weeks after, I got reports from her sister that, you know, Carol was a victim of homicide. Her home was oh ransacked. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. She was stabbed. She's, oh, so Chicago. Is, Chicago's to... a terrible place. you got to be very careful exactly. over there. That's murder capital USA. Exactly. So when it comes on to money and stuff, we have to be very confidential. We have All to right. know who we tell. Spend okay. some time our own family. Even sometimes our own families tend to do some stuff which we had never imagined just because yeah. of this dollar or this money. Well, and you, they you tried to throw could, uh, it overboard. You think you could talk to Lucille for me uh, tomorrow and or just, you know, just tell her that, to be careful and not to say nothing to her sister about this? Well, yes, I can tell her, and you need to tell her as well. That's why I... I she will, here but with you now she's, she's already gone to bed, and I, I leave out early in the morning. Oh. I just I was just afraid I wouldn't get a chance to talk to her about it. I don't want to wake her up. Um, she goes yeah, to bed early. don't wake early. her. Don't wake her. Okay, so can you call her? You think you could call her tomorrow and, and explain to her to, that this shouldn't be... Uh, telling her sister or anybody about this just now yes because listen johnny i don't want anyone to target your home or anything no me even either, though brother. not saying it's gonna happen. even no. though it's not i'm not saying it's gonna happen but we have to be careful I so as soon drift. as everything is done tomorrow, yeah if if soon as everything is complete tomorrow you get the car the check and everything it's yeah. fine if you want to give a friend, if right. you want to give a son or a, a granddaughter, but you don't okay. have to disclose your business even at your bank. You know what I mean? Yeah, I because know what the rock's cooking. Comes. I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, you're I understand. Me now? Yeah, I understand what I, okay. I understand what you're saying. I we'll, so tomorrow, we'll keep it confidential. Tomorrow, right. So tomorrow, even if you wake up and you leave out early, you can just call her on the phone and say, Lucy, you don't need to tell anyone about what we have when we get it this evening or so. Or I can do it on your behalf too. But yeah, do it on my behalf if you can. And uh, that way, she, I mean, you know, you could explain it better than I can in that way. Um, what do you... Uh, what exactly do do we need to do? Do we need to get get everything uh you know ready for y'all to come over? I mean, do I need to clean the garage out and get no, a, space for the car? 
Well, the car is going to be taken to you on a flatbed wrecker. No one is going to drive it. All right? Yeah, you're but I just mean I, I want to keep it inside. It's a, you're talking a $100,000 car, all right? Yeah. All so right. Well, I don't want to keep that outside. So, I don't want to get rained on. I don't want to clean the garage out and have everything ready. Right. Well... What we can do, we can do that when we get there to give you some help. If, because if you live alone, you and Lucy, I, we can give you that assistance, uh, all right? Okay, so yeah, that, I'd and, love that. Yeah, the guys, I don't want you to pressure yourself. All you will be doing tomorrow is to head out, take care of the payment, get back with your receipt, and keep it safely until the guys get there. Because we have to... You have to make the payment so the IRS can release the stamp of approval on the check tomorrow. You understand? Oh, but okay. For right now, okay. Yeah. But for right now, because it's past hours, I don't know exactly how much it is, but I have to just tell you. So as soon as tomorrow morning, as I can get some information, by the time we land overnight tonight and settle, I can call you first thing in the morning or you call me. We get what to get done whether it's going to be like a deposit or something we get it yeah. done you keep your receipt up and you get back home all right okay what now were this you, you said it could be a deposit yeah it depends um it'd be like a, can city, it be a bank time? bank transfer or something if it's a large amount i don't want to i don't want to carry a bunch of money around you know or i'll end up like that lady in chicago I, Somebody around no, here put not. a knife in my back if I carry a bunch of cash around. No. No, what will happen is um, you're going to have some of the money in cash, yes, but that's going to be in a briefcase, which you're going to open when we get there. The other amount of the money is going to be on a check, right? No, I was, I was talking about pay my payment. I, I just don't want to carry a bunch of cash Oh, you're paying. Oh, no, no. No, you're not. No, we can do a cashier's check. That's the safest way to do business, right? Oh, okay. So I don't check. need you to. Okay. All right. Yes, because um, what happened also is that we are not allowed to accept any cash from you, right? No All COD, right. no cash. On you. Okay. So you have to yeah. get a. Right. I don't need you to travel around with any cash. We are doing things the right way and the safest way. All right, the safest way is what I'm talking about. Keep everything on the up and up. Right, right, okay. absolutely. So as soon as I find out tomorrow, what I can do tell you, though, it's it's going to be no way near like the 100000 All right, it's going to be under that because what we're going to do, I'm going to get you a sponsor to assist you with this as well. But because okay. the check is already out, you are the one who can only place the claim towards it. you are the recipient all right okay so they, remember the irs know everything about you they see all your earnings and investments and all your assets so we don't want them to put a lien on you saying that okay you didn't take care of any taxes on this yeah and when you receive this we go to your bank with you because we're going to accompany you to your bank all right yeah After yeah i'd that, like that i'd like for y'all to just come and accompany yeah. me to yeah take care of all this right because the final amount of taxes are going to be paid after you receive it do you understand right. exactly me and you and lucy can go down to the bank together and we'll take care of all this okay all righty well which is I a drop it's... in the bucket to you huh? yeah well it's a drop in the bucket that's i like the sound of that I'll get her to, when y'all come right. over, I'll get her to so run a boat I want and you to get y'all some food and stuff when you get here. <laughs> that, yeah. that's, that's kind of you. That's that very all right if she fix a, in the morning, she fix a big pot of beans. Of the, well, I would have to talk with the team. Remember, we're a team, oh, okay. so. <laughs> right, I understand. You know, but definitely guys, we're going like to have a grant. Yeah, I just want everybody to have a good time when you're here. I want you to go ahead. Absolutely. I can feel it. I feel that you're a generous man. And when I was talking to my wife earlier, too, I told her I told her about you and that, you know, I'll be going over to Texas. And I said, Speedy, 
Um, I need your prayers, all right? Because yeah, I appreciate the that. devil is working, and we have to. Come. All right, and let me say this to you, Johnny. Anything worth working for is worth having. All right. Oh so yeah, you work your whole life, like man. You, you, you deserve it. We ain't gonna let the devil work. No, he ain't gonna work his little evil right. stuff on us in this time. Right, right. So we are gonna conquer him. So right. I told my wife that you know, Petey, pray for this family. Pray, for this family, because I'm gonna go and visit them, and I. Said, okay, I will, because she have a prayer team with our church. You know, they pray in the evenings. And not because I'm far away from home, I still try to keep in tune and still check in and still put it first. Yeah, right? that sounds like you got a lot of... It seems like you got a lot of experience in doing this, so I'm going to just let it, leave it in you and the Lord's hands and... I know y'all going to take care of me and Lucy, okay? Definitely. All right. Well, when you talk to her Definitely. in the morning. Definitely. When you talk to her in the morning, make her feel at home. She's very spiritual, so she'll want to she'll wanna know that, you know, that you're a godly man and you're going to do everything you can to help us make this happen because this. Yes. This is more for our kids and grandkids than it is for us. We don't really, we're not hurting for money, but, you know, you got to think about the next generation. Definitely, definitely. Like I'm saying, this is a blessing. This is not luck. All right? The Lord right. knows why you place this in your life, and this is coming to you for who can change other persons like right. your families, friends, and loved ones. Everything is all a part of God's plan. We are his stewards, so we are to just carry out his work and make sure that the sheep is well taken care of. His sheep are taken care of as we are the shepherd. And right. he is our shepherd. We are his sheep also. So, yeah, I used to have a, to to have a friend. Him. He'd always say, he'd always say, you're salt. And, um, I'd always say, you shot. What What do you mean, you shot? And he'd say, that means you're unlucky. And uh, he always told me, stay away from the casinos and stuff like that because the Lord don't like you gambling your money away. You got you to gotta put it into stuff that you care about, you know. But, but like I said, you know, blessings come in many forms. We can never know. Yeah. Well, right. you, you're Remember, like a, there were fishermen. Go ahead. I, your phone was breaking up a little bit. Remember the story of the fishermen down there, and when Jesus went on the boat with them, it was their blessed night at sea. They catch hundreds of thousands of fishes. Fishes could feed the family. You're right. right? Caught so Remember many. That Jesus caught so went many with fish. They had caught so many fish that Jesus had to walk out on the water yes, to pick them up. I remember that story. I yes. wish I, the wish I could catch that many. Yeah. Cast the net, and he said, cast the net overboard. Right. He said, cast the net overboard. And when they did so, in 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 in, in the in the split of minutes or seconds, the net was full yeah, of fish. Yeah, it was just full of fish. And they couldn't and believe, and they went back and... to the city, saying. Yeah, I do remember that story. Right. I, I remember. Right. I remember. Right. Well, um, so you want me to call you in the morning before I leave? You said. All right. What are um? We need to finalize. What are you leaving for in the morning? Because what you would have to do is to get the cashier's check in the morning. You didn't tell and me then how we much can it was see for. Whether we could have it. I like I said, how, I don't um, know, I don't know now, so it doesn't make sense. I say something that's untrue. No, I got you. I don't it want you to doesn't make sense. I me. say I, something that I is untrue. I want you to wait best. until you know for yeah. sure. Well, I mean, right. we know, we you know just in the it. morning. So what, I, what, 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 were, what were you planning to do? What were you planning to do? Oh, I, I was planning on just going out here and messing around with the horses tomorrow. 
I got I got to train a couple of them so I can oh. sell them. What kind of horses do you have? You have like cutting uh, horses? They're Tennessee walkers. Have you seen Tennessee walkers before? Uh, because I had a friend. I had a friend. Not really. I don't know much about them, but, you know, I had a friend, you know, in Texas. They had like some cutting horses and stuff. Oh, where, yeah. you know, I, I thought he built saddles, too. Those. His father used to build saddles. Yeah. No, these are not cutting horses. These are uh, these are Tennessee walkers. People like to ride them in the parades, and, you know, they, they, they've got a good gait to them. They're oh. real, real smooth riding those horse. Those calm, nice ones. How about... Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, okay, well... Maybe I can have a look at them when I get there. Oh, um, yeah. About how much of them do you have? Do you do you have like a big farm? Uh, we have, have, a, no, have we, a ranch. Yeah, we have a ranch. We have about uh, we had about sixty years, but we've sold we've sold a few here in the last couple of weeks or so. So, anyways, we are. Uh, oh, and how much does these horses sell for? What is the value in uh, like horses? Uh, they can go for anywhere from twenty thousand dollars up to a hundred thousand. Oh, I see, I see, I understand. I understand, I understand. And you said your friend used to uh raise horses too? Yeah, I had a friend in Texas. They raise horses. I haven't heard from him in a while though. His father used to build the saddles and stuff and you know, I've been on their farm. It's like a big farm. So right. you just have horses. That's the only thing. Um, no, that's what you've been doing no. all your life. That's we've what got, you do, like. We got chickens and we got goats. We got more than just horses, but the horses is what makes us the money. You know, chickens don't make us no money. They just, you know, I like eating eggs. So we keep the chickens around for the eggs. <laughs> You know, can't beat fresh eggs. Yeah. I'll send you a picture of one yeah. of the horses over and tell me if you've seen the, if you if this is the kind of horses he raised. Did you get it? Well, they do like they do. Uh, I would have to give you the number for my texting with photos, but that's fine. Oh, okay. I understand. Well, it, so, it's just a big old horse. They, like I said, they they sell for a lot because they're uh, they're difficult to train. The training is more important than the just the fact that it's a you know a nice looking horse. People like to build a I love, just get get out there and ride and have fun. Yeah, I love I love farming. I love farming and I love animals. All right. Well, you had to you had to come mm -hmm. out there and spend a little time on the farm. I'll get Lucy so, to take you around, show you everything. Yeah, yeah. So, like I'm saying, is um tomorrow, even if you're going out early, it's best you take your cell phone so that I can call you and get a hold of you. So the yeah, earliest I by will. let's say eight thirty nine, we could start working. On all, All right. right. Well, I get now, up at I, I get up at to, seven uh, o'clock. I get up at seven o'clock, and I'll be out of here by before eight. So, if you want to talk to me, you probably got to call me early. And but if if you want to text me after I get I leave here, well, I should see it. Well, I like to call, so okay. calling you and reaching out to you would be good. All right. Uh, well, I just know um, uh, right Mr. Now, Peterson what I want to get hold of me. I talk to him also. I let him know that I got you. You know, they're staying over at a resort nearby down there. They're safe. They're fine. Okay. All right. Well, and I won't they're worry just waiting for the land over. No, he's fine. I talk with him. They're waiting for us to land overnight and then. You know, we just get the ball rolling tomorrow. So what I want you to do now is go ahead and give me the correct spelling of your name so I can make sure that all the documents matched up properly. We don't need oh. any arrows in name spelling. Oh, and no, we already did all that. And everything, all right? Yeah, I thought we'd done all that already. 
Okay. Well, it's J O N N Y. Did you get that? And that's Walker. W Walker, right. yeah, and just Walker, like the w just a like the horse. Yeah, just like the Tennessee Walker. Or Johnny Walker, which is my favorite, you know, the whiskey. Okay. You ever drink any okay. of that Johnny Walker? <laughs> yeah, that's a nice drink. Yeah, I always of tell course, everybody. Of course, it's very I cool. tell everybody. I like the yeah, I tell everybody that's my company, you know, Johnny Walker there. I said, but uh, it's just it's not really my company. I, I just like it. You know, it's not every day you can buy a bottle of whiskey that's and, got, um, your, got your name on it. Uh -huh. Definitely very, it's very, you know, a good feeling. And it's a nice drink. It's very smooth. It's very smooth. Yeah. Very, very as far smooth. as whiskeys go, it's I, pretty, I prefer, pretty good. I prefer, I, pr I prefer it more than those, like, you know, cognac. You know, the cognacs are too dark and too right. strong at times. That Jack Daniels. You like the Jack Daniels? That's a good one too. And um, uh, there's this Canadian one called the I Crown think, Royal. I think Crown Royal is probably That's my favorite, to, to be honest. That Canadian one, yeah. Yeah, good. yeah, that's some good stuff. Comes in that little purple bag, man. I always like that little purple bag. I, I keep my pocket watches in that. My yeah, grandpa's yeah. pocket watch. Purple, purple duffer bag, and yeah. they have like an apple one too, in a green oh, bag. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Flavors. I haven't oh, tried man, that. Very... Mhm, mm it's very nice, very very nice. So, yeah. So the address also, could you just verify the correct address? Like I'm saying, um, Johnny, it's just to make sure everything is on point. We don't need any mess up. We don't need any arrows. We don't have any room for that. Do you understand? No room for errors. No room All for right. errors. No room for mistakes. So I want to be sure. All right, well, just make sure you give me all the information and we don't have to worry about making no mistakes. You probably get, goes back. I think I told, didn't I already tell uh, Mr. Peterson all this? Oh, well, I didn't, um, I didn't know if you had given him because oh, he said we were, he I'm said we were in the system. So I have to... All right, well, he just said we were already in the system. Wow, right, right. Curious. Verify. So like I'm saying, tomorrow morning, the first thing we will be doing is, you know, once we get up and you get up and we land and everything, you just um, go and get the cashier's check and whether we can have it sent off and you have your receipt or it depends. We just do it that way. You get home, we do the delivery. We have a good time there with you at home. Then we accompany you back to the bank. Um, How far away? From home is the bank. How far away is the Third Coast Bank? Oh, it's a it's a little ways off. It's thirty minutes or so. Oh, that okay, okay. All right. So, like I'm saying, I don't know the exact amount right now, but I do know that you know it's not gonna be nothing much hefty. It's it's gonna be moderate, and what I'm gonna do is to make sure that. You know, I get the sponsor and assist you with, you know, some of this, but you definitely would have to take care of the rest. You're not going to do anything in cash. All you're going to be doing is to get a cashier's check, and we okay. do it that way and have it done properly. Okay, and you said that uh, so I'm not going to keep you up for You don't much. have a problem with calling uh, Lucy in the morning and telling her to, to make sure that she doesn't, uh, mention any of this you to your sister. You want to give me your number? Yeah, yeah, you got you writing it down. All right, I'm ready. She, all right, she won't get up till about nine o'clock, but it's four o seven nine zero four. Okay. 
right. Well, I, I just want you. You can explain okay. what's going on better than I can. I don't want to. I don't want to confuse her. You know, she'll think it. You know, she'll think if I try to explain it to her, she'll be like, "Oh, I don't okay. know about all that." Yeah, her name is Lucille. Lucille. Yeah. And I guess Mr. Uh, Mr. Peterson told you, didn't he, about that other guy trying to rip us off? Did he explain that to you? Yeah, you did as well. And like I okay, well yes, that's why she's a, that's also, why she's a I little skeptical. All right, okay, you got it wrote down. You said okay. Well, just yes, explain, just explain to her. Yeah, explain to her that, that those people didn't actually work for the company because she's uh, right, right. She she uh, right. is a there little bit no skeptical. Right, I'm going to talk to her and you're going to talk to her as well. But let me say this to you. We are the one who is leading out this. We are the man, we are the head of the household, and we are two men of God here working together. I know yeah, you believe exactly. in me, and I'm not going to lose your trust. I'm not. Yeah, just tell her. I know her, you believe in me, and I know you give her. me your trust. All right. She, if you tell her you're a man of God and you're and all that, she'll she'll feel a lot better about everything. I trust you to to build some confidence in her. Okay, you think you could do that? I can, I definitely can, and I want you to do so too. Oh, well, I will. I just won't. I just won't have. have a, I won't have a chance to talk to her for very long before I have to leave out. Right. But if you can help me out, I appreciate it. Okay, I will. Okay, I will. And you said that um, your money didn't leave your account. Check isn't good, right? Because I want to make sure you have the money in your account. I want to make oh, sure you said the check was void. The bank yeah, canceled the no. cashier. Right? I have a lot more money than I, I mean. I'd have the money in there even if the check hadn't. A, you know, even if they'd have took it, I'd still be all right. I have plenty of money in that account. Okay, so did you? No, I want you to be. I just looking out for you. I just want to know that that check is no good and that it was canceled. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Right. Well, I mean, they can't cash the check when I didn't send it to them. I mean, that's how cashier checks work. You got to have it to spend it. I know. I know. Yeah, I know. well, I didn't but send because it. Because you that's, said that's that the problem. bank that's, said it was Yeah, white. the bank told me don't, don't send that check. They said that that account, that, that uh, person hasn't passed verification. So I just told the guy that and then the next thing I know he was accusing me of uh, I don't know he I don't know what he thought I was trying to do he said I was I was pulling his leg or something I was like I don't know what you mean I've got the check right here in my hand I, I sent him a, he wanted me to send him a picture of it so I sent him a picture of it and he goes well he, I said can you give me the lady's phone number the banker's phone number so they can verify her and he goes no i can't do that i said why can you not give me a phone number if she works for the federal reserve bank surely she got a phone anyways he got mad and uh, next thing you know right, so we you weren't were... talking anymore so you were doing this inside the bank you were talking to him inside the bank or you were no outside? we were out i was at the fedex whenever i asked him to, the fedex wanted to they wanted to verify the address because he said he wanted to send it overnight express or whatever I, well the guy at the fedex said well we can't send the overnight right. express unless they're the address is verified and so i gave him the address and he goes no, that's that address is not matching up right. We got. What, can you tell us the phone number on it? And I said, well, he he won't give me a phone number, so uh, he showed me a bunch of numbers. He goes, we've got six phone numbers for this one address. He goes, we need to know which one it is if we're gonna be able to deliver it on time. 
So I asked the fellow, I said, can you give me the phone number so okay. I can get this delivered? And he goes, oh, no, no, I can't give you a phone number. I said, why in the hell can you not give me a phone number if this is a, a banker? So that's how it went. That's why. Tomorrow happened. is not going to be like that tomorrow. Right, so, okay, so that means then that check is good. It's just I can cancel it. All right. No, the I check need you is, to take is, back that check then and no, the cancel check, it. The check is gonna be. I've already called the bank and told them to avoid the check. The check's not any good. It's just a piece of paper now. Oh, you already void it. Okay. Yeah, I voided it. So you just it, need to get a just, new one tomorrow, no one. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm not going to send you the same one. I'll, I'll get you a brand new one with the, you know, it had somebody's name on it. It, it was a cashier's yeah. check, so I'll get you a brand new one with, with the information that you <laughs> want on it. Right, or, right. Okay. So tomorrow when I get all of that in the system, I'm going to give it to you, and we drive to town. I'm going to be with you on the phone. We drive to town. You get the check. We get it. Um. Cool. Send it off. Give you a right. Are we if there is the bank around? Let's say like a Wells Fargo, a Bank of America, or a TD, or a Citibank. We have it sent. I'm gonna have to look up everything and research everything. But don't yeah. worry. Yeah. So tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is the big day. Right. So I'm gonna get everything set up and talk with them. So like I said, I don't wanna tell anything that's not true. It's best I do it in the morning and you agree with me. So okay. first thing tomorrow when you get up and you eat some breakfast. I'll be seven, about 7 o'clock, okay? As soon so as you, better, you better be out of bed by 7 if you want to talk in the morning. I'm going to be landing already because right. it just takes like around 3 hour max. I hope, I, your phone works. I hope your phone works. So I, 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 all right. Okay. I'm only so hearing talk about to you in the morning, of, all right? I'm Be only safe. hearing about half of what you're saying because your phone keeps cutting out. So I'll talk to you in the morning and we can talk a little yeah, more clearly. Yeah, because we're, we're, we're right, because we're around the cell towers, so that's why. You know, right. you know when you're around airplanes, signals don't work well. Okay. So we're going to board the jet you. shortly. I was just getting some coffee and talking to you, Neil, and wrapping up. So okay. later on, okay? Hey, if I, if something happens and I so can't, tomorrow. if I don't talk and to I'm you in the morning, I want you to give all the information to Lucille and she can send it over to me, okay? All right, all right. Tomorrow morning, all right? Okay, yeah, sounds great. And do me a favor, do me a favor. I don't need you to be getting all these unnecessary calls. So if when we end up now, turn off your phone until tomorrow morning when you get up, okay? I don't answer the phone in the middle of the night and for nobody. Okay. All right. All right. You and you know my then. number. You know my number. You know my voice. All right. Bye bye. God bless you. All right. You. See bye. you. Bye. I'm not like that. I'm, I don't stab you in the back. Yes, now you got me, buddy. Now you got me.